Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be telling the tale of two computers. So over the quarantine, when quarantine first started, building computers became my hobby, and I knew nothing about computers before that besides gaming, or you're that people are able to game on them. So here I have a Dell Optiplex 755. And I took some inspiration from other YouTubers. What we got going on is a side panel. My first time ever cutting a side panel into anything. Using a, a big metal saw. And it wasn't easy. It was imperfection right here. Which was a little too steep. That was my friend's fault. And yeah. We went with this color because we didn't know what he'd look like. And now we know. We have the uh, internet USB. Inside we have a GTX MSI Gaming X version, 1050Ti. It's a dual bracket and unfortunately with how this motherboard is set up, you'd have to have you can only have single slot cards. How do I combat that? Well, I had I had to remove the uh, back IO, so there's no backplate on it, which is really really bad in ghetto, but it works. You can see the card. It looks like the fan would be rubbing against that heat sink, but it's just it's really not <laughs> because the shroud kind of clears it up. And this heat sink is supposed to be screwed in, but right now it's only relying on this piece of old plastic and the uh, the stickiness of the thermal paste. So yeah, not not a good idea at all. But for me, it was the only way. So I plugged it into my house just so I can show off the the fabulous. RGB lighting. If it'll work. There we go. Got the color all the way up. I found the I found the uh, lights at a flea market. I guess it was sold from my Amazon return. And yeah. So I'm able to change it to red. Or not. There we go. With the button. Green. She's not she's not fast or the prettiest, but she she's kinda pretty. Here we have the side panel opened up. It swings to the side. Here are the strips. Originally how we got the LED, how we got the RGB USB to plug in. I, I made a hole right here to try to fit the graphics card with the bracket, but it wouldn't fit still because the motherboard was so tied up against the back of the case. So we just had a hole and now the hole has a very amazing purpose. Very nice. Here we have a Kingston 480 SSD and the hard drive that came with it, which was super slow. I thought it was okay back in 2014. It's a 250 gig, I, I guess. I don't know what brand it is. Seasonic, it says at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's the inside. Here we have a Precision T1500. I picked it up at a local garage sale. The, the man who sold it to me was a computer technician. He said he couldn't get the thing to load, or didn't get in the BIOS, but it turned on. He wanted $40 for this whole box of mice. He wanted $40 for the box of mice. It had mice keyboards. It had a, it had this graphics card in that box. But originally, there's supposed to be a Quadro here. I took it home. The computer turned on, no display. He said he couldn't get into the BIOS, but it would have been 
easier understood if you just said no display. <laughs> Maybe you said that not to scare me, but I was completely frustrated. <laughs> Even though, yeah, it was pretty sad. I tried the onboard graphics, which here we have the i7 for gen. I thought I thought that the onboard graphics didn't work and the graphics card didn't work, that the whole thing was dead and not able to fix. But anyways, I, I put my my AMD R5 230 in here and it worked. It was like a last resort and I did it in front of my dad and which it was really cool. So I so now it's a fully working computer. I'm not going to benchmark it because I haven't got that advanced in computer YouTubing yet, but yeah, I played Rocket League and Roblox. I'm not a heavy gamer at all. It came with a solid state drive and this hard drive. So I was thoroughly impressed for $40 and it hit an i7, I had to buy it. And my friend, I made my friend pay $40 for the thing. And then I gave him 20 but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it back. So the, what the plans are is I'm going to be attempting. This is going to upset my brother. But I want to move the GTX 1050 Ti to this computer and move the GTX 460. It's a beast. In 2010. Into that computer. This computer, we bought it from a man. I guess I originally had a, a duo in it. But it has a Q8400 quad core. And with this graphics card, the, the graphics card like in GTA normal settings, it's running at maybe 60% while the CPU is pegged at 100. So yeah, not not ideal. But anyways, I'd like I'm open to any constructive criticism and help to computers and yeah. My channel, I want it to be a little more about just computers. Car reviews coming soon, maybe. I have an interesting set of automobiles at my house. And yeah. Thank you for watching.